Hey guys, Jeans here back with a new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an awesome logo using Photoshop and uh, for this video all you're going to need is Photoshop and to begin what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just get a paper or something and uh, sketch what you want your logo to look like so I have done that and I have already made a logo so we're going to be making a logo that looks something like this and once you have gotten ideas what you want to do is you want to go to file in Photoshop so if you're using a Windows computer this should be within the Photoshop window and go ahead and go into new so once you do uh, the height and the width doesn't really matter for this one uh, you can go with uh, a smaller uh, pixel count if you want to I'm using 1920 by 1080 for this and I'm gonna just click on OK so once I do it should be a transparent background for some of you it might be a white or a black background so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up with something some color so we can see our logo so once I have done this I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna name this uh, logo so once you have named uh, your layer now to make your logo you can use two tools and the first one is the polygonal lasso tool and the second one is the pencil. Now lots of people use the pencil and that's because uh, you can do curves and everything with that. If you use the polygonal lasso tool you cannot do curves or anything it's just straight lines uh, but you can use any of them. Uh, I like using the polygonal lasso tool sometimes because it's faster to use and everything but you can also use a pencil it doesn't really matter so I'm just gonna use the polygonal uh, lasso tool and make my logo so the first thing is I'm, I'm gonna make the G so as you can see if we go back into the logo I made I made a G and I added an A next to it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make the G first so click and make sure you're holding down the shift key so it's uh, it's um, a straight line otherwise it might be a bit slanted and you might not know it so hold down the shift key and make your uh, shapes so I'm gonna make the G So guys once you have made what you need so I have done uh, the G so what, once you have done it you can right click on it and go uh, into uh, fill so from here you can just select any color that's different from the background and we're gonna change the color uh, later on the video so don't worry about this so I'm just gonna use an orange color uh, this doesn't really matter now so uh, you can right click again to deselect that layer and uh, to make a new one so to make the A uh, you can use a new layer but I'm just gonna use the same one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here and use hold down the shift key again and just make a simple A I don't think the first one was straight is straight so I'm just gonna leave it like that so to make the A I'm gonna use the same methods I used for the first one um, and I can just go So once you have finished making the other layer, what you can do is you can go ahead and again fill it with the same color. You don't need to change it because it would save it for the first color. So again, you don't need to change it again. Now, as you can see up top, there's a bit of there's a bit. This thing is messed up, and to fix this, we can just use this tool. Just drag it down and cut that place. So you can just cut that, and now it's straight, and I think it looks good. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and add a stroke to this so I'm going to right click and go to blending options before I add the stroke I'm going to um, 
change the gradients overlay to a uh, purple and a darker purple and how you can do this is just click on gradients overlay and then you can click on the color and change the color mine I, I changed it to purple I mean you can change yours to anything you want uh, but I like to go with the nice purple color for this one and I'm gonna add a stroke so the stroke is gonna be an orange stroke for, like for I did for the first one and again uh, just select the fill type and change it to a gradient type from color and uh, once it is it should look something like this and now as you can see in the first one so click on ok in the first one um, the fill was everywhere so as you can see it was here and it filled up everything and how I did this was I just again used a polygonal lasso tool and made a new layer so make sure to drag this layer down and the logo layer should be above it and what you can do is you can just uh, click and make a make something that's uh, that's gonna go in the back of this so I just made something like something like this so I'm just holding down the shift key and making what I did for the first one so it, does, it shouldn't really take uh, much time and as you can see I have done it so I'm just gonna fill it with a color first but I'm gonna fill it with a color first it doesn't really matter for now because we're gonna change it so then what you can do is you can go ahead and to right, right click on it go into blending options and go into gradients overlay but we don't want it to be purple instead we want it to be the same gradients as the stroke so double click on the color and uh, you can uh, once you do there's a pen tool a pen dropper to LA that would select color so select on the first color for the gradients on the stroke and again click on the second one and select the second one and click OK and click on OK again and as you can see right now I think it's looking really nice but there is something right here that doesn't look too good and again we can use the same tool that we use for the first one uh, just select it and delete that place and click on the logo layer too and you can delete it from there too so once you do just click it and I think it's looking really nice now what we can do now is uh, add a gradient to the background instead of the just the purple color so what you can do is go to the paint uh, bucket tool right click on it and select gradient tool so once you do make sure your foreground color is purple and for the background set a gradient that you want and you can just drag it and as you can see I think it looks really nice now and now what I'm gonna do is go to the second layer and the first layer the logo layer and the background layer that we made not the background with the purple but the background with the orange and right click on it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge these layers so if you click on merge it's gonna turn them into one layer so as you can see you can drag it anywhere you want to so this is gonna be your logo your main logo and you can also press command T and make it a bit smaller a bit thinner and everything and click this and click on apply and place it wherever you want it to be so I'm gonna put it here and what I'm gonna do now is add a text so I'm gonna say AG gaming your text can be anything you want so I'm gonna type in AG gaming so I have typed in AG gaming and the font I am using is railway and if you want it you can go ahead and get it so I'm gonna uh, select the thickest font from there so it's uh, black italic and then I can just click this and then press command T and I can make it bigger so if you press command T you can make your text bigger easily now it's a purple color now but I'm gonna change it to a white color so to do that just right click and go to blending options and you can add a color overlay uh, that's really easy so click on the FX button and click on color overlay so now it's a gray one but you can just select the color and change it to white really easily 
and I think it looks a lot better now but what, what I can do now is I, I think I should make the gaming one a bit thinner than the AG because the AG needs to stand out for the people to remember and everything so I'm just gonna change this one to light and yeah I think it's looking really nice now again you can press command T and make everything bigger or smaller if you want and you can also use a text tool and to make it a bit cooler type in like TM trademark or something like that and but some purple so you can't see it so I'm gonna change this to white to blending options again and go to color overlay so and it should save the color from before so now it doesn't really change it so so I want to select the text and you want to go ahead and move it so I'm gonna move it up top over here or you can move it on top of the logo it just makes it look a bit cooler you can also press command T and make this one a bit smaller doesn't have to be too big for this and yeah once you're done press enter and yeah guys this was the video I hope you liked it and yeah I'll see you in the next one